Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and we are taking a look at Git. So Git is a distributed version control system, a DVCS. That's going to be hard to remember. Uh, and it's created by Linus Torvald. If you've ever seen that name before, you might know that Linus is the creator of the Linux kernel, but he is also the creator of Git. And Git right now resides with the Linux Foundation, which I believe is a uh, nonprofit set up by uh, Linus as well, or has some uh, part to do with it, where a lot of open source projects reside. Um, but you know, I don't really want to focus on that. I want to focus on the practicalities of Git. So the idea with Git is that each change of your code, a Git commit, can be captured and tracked through the history of your project, a Git tree. So I'm going to get my pen tool out here for just a second. And so I just want to make this very clear. So we have over here a file and a git commit can or a commit can be made up of multiple files with multiple changes in them. And then they're represented over with a, uh, a, a message. Okay. So here, this is a single um, git commit and it can have multiple files and uh, files and changes in that single one. And then that's your tree. Okay. So hopefully that is clear. If it's not, don't worry, we'll get hands-on skills and we'll definitely be able to remember them later. I want to take a look at a bunch of common Git terms. Um, and it doesn't matter if you remember these now, but you will know what they are hopefully by the end of this course. Um, and so there is this nice graphic here that is provided by Wikipedia that gives an idea of how all of these terms uh, work together. Uh, but let's go quickly through them and see what we can make sense of. So the first term is a repository. This represents the logical container holding the code base. In fact, you, you could interchange the word code base repository and mostly mean the same thing. We have a commit. This represents a change of data in the local repository. And so um, that's pretty clear. Then we have the tree. This represents the entire history of a, of a repo. So when you see tree, just think of that graph. We have remote. Uh, this is a version of your project hosted elsewhere, used for exchanging commits. Uh, some people might be a bit uh, picky about this because they might say remote is actually a remote reference to a repository, so it's pointing, it's a pointer, but I'm just gonna make it think that it's a remote uh, repo, it's just somewhere else. And there, uh, there are branches, so these are divergent paths to development, allowing isolated changes. You're absolutely gonna know what branches are, you're absolutely gonna have to work with them quite a bit. Um, there is a branch known as main. It was formerly known as master. Uh, the word was changed because it was not a popular term anymore. And so now main is the new name. Uh, and this is usually the default branch or the base branch, uh, if that makes sense there too. So we have clone. This creates a complete local copy of a repository, including its history. So this will create like a little .git folder. Um, so it's not just the contents of the files, but some configuration around the Git repo. We have checkout, so this switches between different branches or commits in your repo. We have pull, so this downloads changes from a remote repository and merges them into your branch. We have push, this uploads your local repository changes to a remote repository. We have fetch, this downloads data from a remote repo without integrating it into your work. Um, we have reset, so undoes local changes without options to unstage revert commits. We have merge. This combines multiple commit histories into one. We have staging files. This prepares and organizes uh, changes for commits. It's not a command, but like it's just where you would work with your files. Um, in the uh, example here, I'm just going to get my pen tool out again. It's kind of over here. It has to relate with this up here as well. And so within staging files, we're going to have commits, which we already talked about prior. And then there's that add command. So adding things that will get committed. So hopefully that makes sense and we'll see you in the next one, okay?